Hi, once again, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado. And today we're going to take a look at DaVinci Resolve and creating some titles. Now, this is probably one of my uh, things I'm least impressed with in DaVinci Resolve is the titles. I, I really like the title system that Final Cut has. The one in Premiere, eh, so-so. Um, I can do some some good stuff in here, but I just don't have the, the breadth of things and the effects in the titles that I do in Final Cut. So if I really want a high-end title, I'm going to have to go over to Final Cut to finish this. But I'm going to show you what we can do if this is the only tool we have and, and do some interesting stuff with it. So I'm in my Edit tab, and I just I put a little gap in here so I can start it off the way I, I want. I go to my effects library here on Toolbox, and I see I have titles. So I have left lower third, medium lower third, right lower third, scroll, and text. Not a lot of choices, but we're going to make do with what we have. So I'm going to just pull a text one over and double click on it so I can change the text. So this is Rocky Mountain National Park video. No, there was no drone footage. This is all done with an Osmo. It's just, just saying. But, and I can change the font. Um, I kind of like Verdana. It's kind of clean. So we'll go with that. I can do drop shadows, strokes, backgrounds. So I can, I can play around with the look of the text. Now, I can then go to the video tab, and I can have all the same things I can do with a, a piece of video. So we're going to look at this to see how we can kind of make this a little more animated of a, of a title. So let's see, let's play this and see what it does, right? Okay. Pretty non-interesting. It basically is just there and then the video pops on and then the text goes away. So we want to make this, let's call it cleaner, right? So first thing I'm going to do on the video is I'm going to grab the little anchor at the top and pull that over. Okay. Now, what that's going to do is ease into the piece of video. So it's not just snapping in place. So look at that. Much nicer. Now I could do the opposite with the title. And now we can see how that would look. So I'm going to fade in to the video while it fades out with the title. Let's take a look at that again. Remote watch the title again. We're going to fade into the video just as the text starts to fade away. So a much cleaner look than simply just plopping it on there really quick. Okay, but I'm going to do something uh, even more fun with it. We're going to go to the inspector. No, I've got to have it selected and the video, and now we can try doing, making it a little more animated, right? So I'm going to start all the way to the left, and I'm going to find my position. So I have my X position, and I have the Y, the up and down. So I'm actually going to just pull this to where it's right off the screen, and make sure that I set a keyframe there. Now, anytime I make a change to the position, it's going to create a new keyframe. So let's play it. I want to go about that long and I want it to be centered on the screen. I want it to sit there for a few seconds. I'm going to create another keyframe just to tell it I'm going to change something and then I'm going to go to the end. I want the very last frame this one, and we're going to go off the screen. So now let's take another look at it again. So how's that for a clean look? So we can play around with zooming it in, zooming it out, pulling it, doing all kinds of things to, you know, spinning it all the way in if we want. So we can create some animated titles with some text effects on them. So again, it's not like super fancy stuff, but it 
does open up the ability to do different things. You can get funky with dynamic zooms and cropping and uh, all the things we can do with video. But I just want to show you a quick way with a couple different options for doing the video or doing your video titles so that they look a little better than just tossing stuff on there and not really having much in the way of style to them. So hope you enjoyed that. This again was Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado store. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.